Hey, what's up y'all? This is Rodney and I'm back. And uh, I just wanted to come on here and just run my mouth for a quick second. Um, girl, I, girl, you know, girl, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Um, but girl, somebody told me today in the comment section that uh, she was laid off from her job. Um, but I think, you know, I don't think she's too worried from what I got from it, but just the simple fact that you know, she got laid off, girl. I don't know what's about to happen to a lot of us, girl. We just gonna hope for the best. That's it. Baby, did y'all hear they said we supposed to be getting a, they said we supposed to be getting a Trump check. Baby, while you were running your mouth with him, I was running to the bank, sweetie, and depositing a Trump check, a Donald Trump check. Baby, I knew you when your mouth was raggedy. I knew you when your mouth was raggedy. They're, they're, they're done. They're done. They're done. Girl, y'all, that's, that, see, that's, that's back in the day when them hoes on real housewives of love used to drag each other and tell all of each other business, girl. I was there when your car got repo from Home Depot. <laughs> Girl, them bitches used to go in and fulfill. Baby, they used to talk about each other. Car getting repoed. Girl, getting evicted and shit. Talking about each other. Rotten ass, raggedy ass mouths, girl. Baby. Girl. Baby, where's my check? Where's my Trump check, baby? Mr. Postman. Deliver the letter. The sooner the better. Baby, don't even, baby, don't even come to my house, girl. Don't even come to my house. I'm going to meet you at the post office, okay? I want my coin. I want my money. I want my coin. Somebody going to say on the, uh, online today, girl, he wasn't your president. Um, so don't, don't, don't take this money. Girl, fuck you. That's the least he could do, okay? Shit. Anyway, child, I'm ready, girl. I mean, girl's going towards bills, but I mean, shit. They say we might get a thousand, and then I read somewhere else that we might get two, but I think it also depends on up to two thousand. That's what I read. I think it also depends on, um, I guess, your family size, or I guess, you know, of course, your income, I believe. I don't think that millionaires qualify for it or if they qualify for anything it i don't think it'll be like the full amount i'm not exactly sure but i think for a lot of us um we should be okay with receiving something hopefully um but yeah girl <laughs> i'm ready for that trump check i was cashing a donald trump check he better do something he better get in the good graces of somebody. I mean, not me, because I mean, I don't give a damn what he do, because I'm not voting for him. But he better do something, because he might change the hearts of some people. Not me. I still want my goddamn coin, though. Okay? Girl. Y'all heard about Whoopi? Whoopi say, um... Whoopi say, um... She Skyped in today from home. So she basically done with the view. She not walking into the building. I haven't seen the whole clip, but today then she didn't go inside. Uh, she um, Skyped from home. And I mean, look, Whoopi is old. You know, like I said, baby, I don't know why she was trying to act like she 30 or 40, you know what I'm saying? Or hell, even probably even 50. Girl, Whoopi, Whoopi was 60 something, George 77. Like, she should have been right behind. As soon as Joy said, bitch, I'm gone, Whoopi should have been like, girl, where is my car keys? Girl, you know everybody has some lotion at their desk. Girl, get my car keys. Where is my lotion? All right, y'all, I gotta go. Because they say this shit out here killing old bitches. And, you know, I'm a little bit over the hill. So, y'all, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. And when this shit is cleared up, y'all give me a ring. Girl, Whoopi, stay your ass at home. Like I told my friend last night, I like Whoopi. I mean, Whoopi get on my nerve on the view sometimes, but I don't want her to die. Okay? Girl. Whoopi, go home. Whoopi, you have enough money. Girl, you ain't got to work probably for the rest of your life, girl. Take your ass home and sit down and be still before you really go home to glory. Because, bitch, just a couple of months ago, girl, you was about two coughs away. Okay? Bitch, Joy had enough sense to be like, girl, look, I'm 77, I'm an old hoe. Girl, 
ain't got time to be playing no games with none of y'all in this building. I'm going have like Joyce said on her own map. Baby, I got enough money. Bitch, go. I know that's right. Bitch, I can't wait till I say that. Bitch, I got enough money. My man has two jobs. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Rochelle. Y'all don't know who that is, girl. <laughs> so yeah, Whoopi said. A doctor said that everything was okay. Yeah, the doctor is gonna say everything is okay, but girl, let's let you come in contact with somebody who got that shit. Then what you gonna do? Right. You know what? I don't even feel like talking about that girl. Um I'll say it. So today I posted this um somebody posted something online about um they don't mean to be insensitive but they wish that people um, basically had the same um, sensitivity level when it comes to people that are living with HIV as they do with people who have coronavirus. And I don't think that is necessarily comparing the two, but I think what I took what, from what they were trying to say is the same way that people, can, people are just getting online saying, oh, I got the corona, y'all, but I'm all right. Maybe if people created a space that um, people felt comfortable to say that they had HIV, um, then they would come out and say, hey, y'all, I have this, uh, you know, this disease. Um, I'm gonna be all right. You know, I think that even though it may not be as bad as it was 20, 30 years ago, um, clearly it's still a problem because people are afraid to go get tested. You got motherfuckers now wanting to know if they got the coronavirus. You see what I'm saying? So I think there still is some type of negative um, negativity when it comes to people who have HIV, right? Like if Magic Johnson walked into a building, or I ain't even gonna say Magic Johnson. If you knew somebody who had HIV and they walked into a building, everybody would be like, oh my God, girl, he got HIV. But the truth of the matter is, girl, Magic Johnson or anybody who has HIV just can't touch you and you catch the shit, right? Idris Elba can go touch your grandmother and the bitch die. So all I'm saying is that meme that I posted, the, the thing that I posted earlier, I don't think that it's trying to say or compare, like somebody said, it's almost like saying, um, it's almost like when white people say all lives matter is when we're talking about black lives matter. I don't think, I, that's not what I took away from it. That's probably what you took away from it. But I think I took away from it that hopefully people can start to have the same sensitivity when it comes to other diseases, but they were talking about HIV. So the same way that people are, you know, treating people who have this coronavirus and they can physically touch somebody and somebody could die, maybe they should have the same sensitivity when it comes to people who have HIV. So when people, people are not afraid to go get tested. People are not afraid to say, oh, I have this disease. I just want to clear that up. Anyway, Shell, um, what else I had to talk about? I had a lot of stuff. I wanted to talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I'm probably going to talk about that in a little bit. I'm about to go to my sister's house, y'all. He cooked. He said he cooked um, some um, He cooked some uh, roast, some mashed potatoes, some green beans, some Brussels sprouts. I ain't never had that before. And some rolls. So, girl, I'm about to go over there. I heard that the people in LA don't have to worry. Oh, they can't evict nobody for not paying. Look, let me tell y'all something. I don't know. Look, I, I know it's gonna be, it's about to get hard out there for a bitch. You know, it's hard I get for a pill when you're trying to make the money for the rent. Yes, it's gonna be a bitch. We all gonna be putting up Craig, Craig uh, list ads and back page ads and bitch. We all gonna be out here selling dick pussy and ass girl down. Bitch, it's about to get hard in these motherfuckers. Anyways, girl, so I can't judge no bitch. I can't judge Tra I can't judge Travis. Uh, what's the one who was selling ass to? Uh, what's the one who sold a little bit of ass to Andrew? Uh, what was that nigga name? Travis. Travis Dyson, the white boy who was selling ass to Andrew, and they got caught with meth and alcohol. Bitch, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know. Like, we're not gonna talk about Andrew, but girl, what? The, girl, <laughs> I'm just telling you what the kids said. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the people said. <laughs> I ain't gonna say, but girl, fuck it. Funky said that Andrew liked boys. 
Um, the people saying that Kwai said the same thing. So, girl, I don't know. Girl, it, really doesn't, it really doesn't even matter because I don't want to be one of those people who like, oh, girl, he like boys, he like boys. Girl, because Kwai just kept, girl, his wife probably already knew he dipped, he dipped in the boy pond every now and again, okay? I, I don't think that man should lose his career. I'm sorry. I know some of y'all say, well, he a liar. Girl, tell me one politician that ain't lied, Okay. And Quad is just kept girl. Him cheating. Girl, Quad is just kept girl. Also, real girl, that's Rashida. Speaking of cheating, bitch. This is how, let me say something. Rashida get online talking about y'all can never walk in my shoes um, for five minutes, let alone uh, be married for 20 years. She said something like that. Rashida, just because your husband got you looking like a fucking fool on TV. That don't make you strong. That don't make your marriage mean shit. Cause quiet as it's kept, your husband has been in an open relationship and disrespecting your marriage since y'all got on VH1 Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Even probably prior to that. If you want, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of these reality stars getting mad when we have an opinion or judge them when they chose to get their ass on reality TV and tell their business. It's one thing if you live a private life and you mind your business and people start talking about you. I can see how you might want to go up inside a bitch head, right? I'll give you some examples of famous people like Kerry Washington. Bitch, I still forget that Kerry Washington got two kids. Kerry Washington carried and birthed two kids. And bitch, we still ain't seen them children no goddamn world. Okay? Carrie tries to be as private as possible about her personal life. Bitch, I think I've seen her husband five times. I ain't seen them children not once. Okay? Adele is another one. Adele sold, what, 10 million? Wait, not 10 million. Did she sell 10 million copies in one week? Or five million? She sold a lot of albums in one week. So for a bitch to be that popular, you get what I'm saying? And for us still not to know how her child look. So all I'm saying is there are celebrities out there who, even though they are celebrities, they try to make sure that they still keep their private life private. So therefore, we really can't talk about Kerry Washington's private life. Or, I mean, we could. Of course, we could. But it's kind of like, girl, I'm going to leave her alone. You know what I'm saying? Because... But the other girls who get on reality TV, girl, y'all free game, girl. Baby, that, that's, what is it, fair, that's fair game, girl. I'm going to talk about you next week on Monday. And I'm going to talk about you the following week on Monday. I'm going to talk about you up until the reunion. And if you don't want nobody discussing your marriage or having an opinion about your marriage, tell your trifling that sorry ass disgusting ass dirty dick ass husband to keep his goddamn dick in his pants and stop having children on your ass and have you looking stupid. Your problem ain't with us, baby. Your problem is with your goddamn man and his three earrings. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Rashida, if you see this video, don't say nothing to me because I'm coming to your restaurant because I want to eat y'all food because it do look good. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bitch. I'm, when I go to a London girl, I'm going to Rashida restaurant. That food do look good. Now, that, that, for what she said, it take a long ass time to get out, but <laughs> girl, it do look good. When I go to Atlanta, I'm telling y'all all the spots I'm going to. Me and my sister was talking about this last night, girl. When we go back to Atlanta, girl, we going to Hattie Mays. We, I said I already went to I already went to OLG, but I told him I would go back. We going to OLG. Uh, we going to Fat Mats Rib Shack, girl. I love Fat Mats Rib Shack. We going to Greens and Gravy, and we going to Dave's Cheese Steak, bitch. We like to eat, girl. Girl, me and my sister, we some eating assholes. Um, and we going to Rashida's uh, Rashida uh, Frost Lounge. That's where we going. I can't wait, bitch. Oh, I'm gonna have to be there now for about six days, okay? Cause I like to eat, bitch. When I go, bitch, when I, I love it. Got some good food to me, girl. Um, and it got some fine ass niggas too, girl. But you got to be careful in Atlanta, honey. Um, but yeah, Rashida, sit down and be quiet and shut up, cause girl. And you know what it is too. I think. Okay. 
I think what it is when it comes to people in these open marriages, I think what I've been trying to say is, okay, you've been married for 20 years. You've been in this relationship for X amount of years. Stop trying to make it seem as though, girl, those 20 years mean something. Especially when it's a situation you didn't sign up for. Maybe I could see your point of view if you told me, yeah, me and my husband, we decided when we got married that we were going to be in this open relationship and it is what it is. But girl, that's not what you agreed to. So you on TV hollering, screaming and crying, looking like a fool, but still want to throw in our face that girl, we've been married for 20 years. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? I'm still, I'm still not saying it right. <laughs> I'm still not saying it right. Like, I just don't think it... Like, I don't like I don't want to hear anything Nene has to say. I don't want to hear anything Rashida has to say. Well, I guess Nene not so bad. Because Nene and Greg have this agreement now. But Rashida... Like, girl, who said that? Was it the diva? Somebody said it, bitch. Kirk in an open relationship, bitch, you just ain't. Girl, okay? Bitch, you need to get on board. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just don't, I just, I, I just get tired of hearing people bragging about how many years we've been married when, girl, 15 of those years, girl, the nigga had you crying and depressed and sad, but you bragging about being married for, girl, you know what, this is what I want to tell y'all too, because we was talking about uh, relationships and stuff, and you know, like I said, my mind be changing every day, like, like when they say, I'm a woman, I'm allowed to change my mind, um, I was talking to my friend last night, he asked me, could you be in an open relationship, I said, girl, I don't even know, I said, Okay. If I was... Okay. Right now, if I got into a relationship with somebody, I don't think I could be in an open relationship. Even if I got with somebody right now and five years had passed, I still don't think I could be in an open relationship. Because I still think even after five years, for some people, not all, I think like you could still deeply care and love somebody and still be sexually attracted to somebody and only want to fuck them. Especially for a lot of women. Because y'all know a lot of women, they niggas go out there and cheat all goddamn day long and them, and them bitches will not cheat on their man. Girl, you a better bitch than I ever be. Um, but like, I was well, I was using Nene as an example. Like Nene and Greg. Get, bitch, <laughs> Nene done got her stomach fixed, done got her titties fixed, her nose fixed a few times, got a new set of teeth that cost $50,000. But she still ain't got her wigs together. But for the most part, Nene, bitch, you know, Nene 50-something, Greg, how old? Greg. That's Greg dancing. On, somebody showed me the TikTok video of Greg and uh, Nene now. So can, if I was with somebody for 20 years, could I see myself being in an open relationship? Probably so. I'm not even going to lie. Because... As much as I talk about Nene, I kind of get where Nene is coming from, like, now. And if that's the agreement that her and her husband have, I ain't even mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, at least your husband ain't make you look like... Well, he did make her look like a fool when he decided to try to talk to that girl who worked for her. But y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, it ain't like it ain't like Rashida sitting at home with her legs crossed and Kirk out there with his legs open, letting a random bitch suck his dick and skied inside of her and have babies. You know? Um, even though y'all say uh, Greg had a baby. Look, all I'm trying to say is for me, if I could, if I was in a relationship with somebody that had been 20, 30 years, there's a possibility that I probably have grown very, very comfortable with you. Um, but sexually, we done did everything we gonna do and I'm probably bored and now I'm ready to go back out and be a hoe like 99, like I did in 2001. So you want to do this? You want to just stay together? You just want to stay together? Because, girl, we've been together for 25 years. And we're not going to get a divorce. So you just fuck who you want to fuck and I fuck who I want to fuck? That's what you want to do? Okay, girl, let's do that, girl. All right. You know what I'm saying? But 
I also feel like it's just I'm just talking now, girl. But I also feel like, um, like he asked me, you know, would you divorce someone after that long? And I said I can see how it can be very, very difficult. And like somebody said, oh, so I guess you, I guess you divorcing somebody depends on what other people think. Girl, look, let me tell you something. You can say you can twist it, flip it how you want to do it. If I would never be with a motherfucker like Kirk, who did me the way Kirk did Rashida. 20 years would be down the drain. Click, bitch, what a, what a lawyer at? Bitch, I'm gone. Bitch, I'm gone. I can never be with a nigga who, like Jackie did. Okay, girl, y'all, you want to stay with that man? He, girl, whatever. Whatever. I ain't staying with Curtis. Look how you just did me. Now, I'm talking about Dr. Jackie from Marriage to Medicine and Curtis, who cheated on her and then just held some random bitch hand going through the airport. Um, but if my man cheated on me and didn't nobody know, and it was we had been together for 20 or 30 years, I might stay. <laughs> I might stay. Because it, it, it might be easier for me to get over the betrayal because I'm the only one that knows. It would be hard as fuck for me to get over the betrayal when everybody in the cousins know that girl Rodney man ain't shit. Because I done told y'all since the very beginning, I'm bad with public humiliation. Bad with it. And I can't let shit go. So after you've embarrassed me for the world to see, it's a, it's not going to last. Because bitch, I'm not going I'm not getting over it. Period, okay? So bitch, we might as well go ahead and get a divorce and bitch, I need to start a new life. Bitch, I will be just like Wendy Williams. Like Wendy Williams is another example. Wendy been knowing Kevin been cheating on her. But when, once that baby came, that changed up. That bitch, that was a whole nother ball game. And what Wendy did, girl. It's time to go. Girl, my lawyer gonna contact you tomorrow, bitch. You done, you done fucked it up, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I just really think, I think a lot of people would stay. Well, some of y'all staying anyways. Look at Rashida, look at Jackie, okay? But I think a lot of people would stay in relationships as long as it was just me and you who knew. It might be easier for me to get over. We've been together for 20 years. Now, bitch, let me say something, bitch. If we've been together for one year, or two year, or three year, or four year, or five year, bitch, you cheat up. Bitch, bitch, girl, gone. Girl, gone. I'm not going to be like Cardi B. Oh, we've been together for two years. What I'm supposed to do? Start out over. Bitch, you 25. Yes, bitch. You know what the fuck I was doing at 25? I had just started having sex at 25, okay? Do you hear me? So, bitch, I was having the time of my life. Girl. So, you talking about what I'm supposed to do? Start over? Girl, you're 25, Cardi B. Yes, you start all over. Bitch, I'm trying to give Jackie a pass because Jackie is 61 or 60. Jackie is old. Jackie is like 61 or 60. Well, she's not. That's not old. Jackie is an older woman. So I'm trying to give Jackie a pass because she's so old. She's older. Um, but I just couldn't do it. For me, I couldn't do it. But for the young girls out there who are 25 and 26 and 27 and even 30, bitch, even 40. Bitch, even 45, low key. Girl. Bitch, look at Wendy. Wendy said, bitch, fuck that. Ain't nobody embarrassed. That's what, you know what? The moral of the story is, ain't nobody embarrassing me. That's what it come down to. And if we've been together for 20 or 25 years and I find out you cheat on me, I might say if don't nobody know about it. But bitch, if you embarrass me, bitch, you might as well go ahead and get them divorce papers ready because bitch, I'm signing on a dotted line. It's over. It's a wrap, okay? If you cheat on me, it's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even 10 years, bitch, it's a wrap. I'm too young to be going through something like that, bitch. Baby, I can get a man. <laughs> okay, I got you. Anyways, got to be off running my mouth, girl. Let me go to my friend's house. We're going to talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta on the way to his house because I got a lot I got to say. Bye, y'all.